I love Vietnam and Malaysia equally. Vietnam, I just love the culture and the food. And then Malaysia, I was there for all of my high school and I formed kind of some of the deepest friendships during my childhood. We moved around quite a lot growing up because my dad worked in international development. This is actually the sixth country that I'm living in. My mom also grew up in poverty in the Philippines and then my dad grew up in kind of a middle class family in Denmark. So there was that strange paradox growing up. You know, poverty was always in my face and it was very hard to just turn a blind eye. My name is Jasmine and I'm a senior majoring in economics. I'm part of the class of 2021. My first memory of Stanford was arriving for ISO, the International Student Orientation. My dad dropped me off at Norcliffe and I got to meet a bunch of my dorm mates as well, many of whom have turned out to be my best friends to this day. One of the best experiences of Stanford has been <laughs> serving as an RA. I have three younger siblings and I definitely feel like my identity is shaped around being the eldest sister. I think people kind of notice that when they meet me the first time. My junior year I was an RA in Branner Hall, the public service themed dorm, and I was helping lead the service scholar program. This year has been different. I've been working with freshmen. It's been a very special experience because with freshmen you're really kind of introducing them to Stanford and helping them navigate resources. I just love taking care of people and being there for them. I I'm very blessed to have two amazing resident fellows. And then Corinne Thomas, she's based at the Stanford King Center. I go on walks with her like every week. She's been a really amazing mentor to me, kind of like my mom at Stanford. For my graduating class, I wish that we can all just have the courage to do what we love. Be confident in the things that we enjoy and the things that drive us. I'm gonna miss a lot of things about Stanford. I think number one is the people. I, I've made the most amazing friends here, people who are so driven and passionate and kind. Unfortunately, my family can't come for commencement, but I think what I'm most looking forward to is, is celebrating graduation with, with my best friends who have basically become my family.